and today you're going to be a field biologist. I don't know if you know what that means, but there are some biologists who work in laboratories, but there are others who go out into the woods and, you know, deserts and various places to study animals. And you can find out a great deal about an animal by finding out what it eats. For example, the barn owl, you've heard of them. Yeah. You know, they live around barns most of the time. Well, they catch animals and they swallow them whole. Then they go down into a sort of gullet where everything they can digest is digested. And what they can't digest is now coughed up into a pellet with straps onto the ground. And that's what you have sitting in front of you right there. That came from inside an owl. And by taking it apart, you should be able to tell what the owl ate. And here are some tools. Here's the tweezers that you can, because some of the bones and things will be very fine. Here's a safety pin, a great big one opened up, which you can use, to, you know, to poke. And here is a little thing with a cork on the end so that you can tear things apart. Now, as okay. you, well, why don't you, why don't we take it apart a little bit and see what you find so far? It's, it looks like something on the end right there, right? Yeah. Here, let me poke into, ooh, if it's hard, right? Careful now. You have to be very careful because you don't want to break right. the bones if they are bones. Oh, and there's a little oh, one. Oh, yes. And here, and here, it looks like the back end of a skull. Now, wait yeah. a minute. As you go about, keep track of all those little bones because I'm going to leave this with you. And you can identify the whole animal sometimes by just the sort of peculiar bones that you run across, like the skull or these parts of the teeth and so forth. Then I'll also give you this book, which is The Barn Owl and the Pellet. And inside, there are all kinds of clues that'll help you identify what kind of an animal it is. So are you all set? Yep. When you get finished, lay all the bones out and see if we can identify the animal. All right? Okay. Good luck. How are you doing, Shan? Oh, great. I learned a lot about what owls eat. You sure did. Look at all the bones you found. Yeah. Can you identify the animal? That's the big question. I think the owl ate a bird. What makes you say that? Well, the skull that I found here, mm -hmm. um, in the book, all the skulls of birds are rounded mm -hmm. at the back, mm -hmm. and the other animals are almost have, have almost jaggedy mm -hmm. skulls at the back. Right. So I assume that's a bird Very skull. Very good. Good conclusion. Any other uh, evidence? Um, well, I think this is the beak, mm -hmm. and I think that got broken off while I was Taking apart. digging yeah. apart. Yeah. Right. Yeah, could be. So I think that's the beak of the bird. And over here, all these big, bigger bones, I think, are the leg bones of mm -hmm. this bird. Right. And some of them possibly could belong to another animal. Oh, really? Which I found. Oh, well, tell me about that one first. Okay. What's that? This, I think, is the Looks wishbone. Looks very familiar to me, yes, a wishbone, wish which birds have, of course. Now, right. what's this about the other animal? Okay, well, over here, I found some teeth. Mm -hmm. And I think that some of those bones might have belonged to the animal with all these teeth. Ah, because, because, no, birds don't have birds teeth. Birds don't have teeth. Right. So it's possible that the owl ate two animals one after the other right. and put them, all the bones or all of what, it, what it couldn't digest into one pellet. Oh, that sort of complicated matter, didn't it? Yeah, it does right. for scientists trying to put yeah. it together. So I can see why you thought the leg bones could, come, could have come from another animal. Yeah. Well, you did very... What are these little bones, you suppose? Well, I think they might be... Um, Part of the wing of the bird. Because mm -hmm. they're sort of like ones. little fingers, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I told you, remember, you were going to be a field biologist to learn <laughs> something about an animal by examining what, you know, what it leaves behind. You did a beautiful job. A bird and some other unknown animal. And it was sort of like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Yeah. Only using Trying real to put bones. It together. Very mm. good. Congratulations. Thanks.